stand for dual code and multimedia effects. Students remember more information if it is delivered by the teacher in multiple modes, such as visual or auditory. This is because dual codes provide richer and more varied representations, which allow more meaningful retrieval routes. When taught in just one mode, such as the teacher just talking to the students, students often lose attention, get bored, misbehave, disrupt the rest of the class, and not take in the information, which is bad. Evidence to support this theory is by Moreno and Valdez, 05. They conducted a study to, on college students, which taught, about, taught them the process of lightning, which had three different groups. The first group was taught with words and pictures. The second group was taught with just words, and the third group taught, taught with just pictures. Obviously, the group with words and pictures had highest retention and transfer of information, which meant they learnt more about the lightning process. This suggests that dual codes promote meaningful learning. How does multimedia learning work? This question is answered by the cognitive theory of multimedia learning, suggested by Mayer 01, which is represented by this diagram here. Learning depends on the learner's cognitive processing during learning. This is selecting words and images here, selecting words and images into the working memory, organising words and images within the working memory, and integrating with our prior knowledge. The boxes represent the memory stores, the sensory memory, the working memory, and the long-term memory. And arrows represent the cognitive processes within our brain. Teacher, teachers must be aware that students have dual channels, such as words within the ears, pictures on the eyes, and have a limited capacity within these memory stores, and that they are actively processing, such as selecting, organising and integrating whilst they are learning. This is supported by Thompson and Pavio. They suggested that auditory and visual components are functionally independent in memory. Further studies that support this are by Johnson and Mayer 09, which found that their testing effect can be obtained with a multimedia lesson, and Samtangelo et al. 06, which show bimodal improves working memory performance. Mitosis. When chromosomes in the cell nucleus separate in the cell nucleus into two identical sets of two nuclei, it accounts for approximately 10% of the cell cycle. It's highly complex and regulated sequence of events divided into five phases. Interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. Right, stop. This is rubbish. Look how poor the students are. And this is due for many reasons. For starters, the teacher is only talking in an auditory form. Therefore, there is no dual code at all. Also, she's talking dull and simply, so students are therefore not engaged. Therefore, again, students are not going to be attending to the information presented, and therefore information isn't processed in working memory. Okay, so now for a good lesson. Okay, today we are learning about mitosis. Mitosis is a process of the nucleus dividing to form two nuclei, from the mother cell to two daughter cells, and there's five phases. And the way to remember the five phases is interesting people meet and talk. Repeat after me. Interesting people meet and talk. So, stage one is interphase. Interphase. Prophase. Prophase. Metaphase. Metaphase. Anaphase. Anaphase. And telophase. Telophase. Now, Maria, what's the third stage after prophase? Metaphase. Okay, thank you very much, teacher. Okay, so this is a good lesson for many reasons. One, they've got an auditory and a visual form because you've got the good colourful pictures as shown here. Secondly, it's interactive as the teacher is asking questions and therefore you've got the dual code form. This is a more effective format when information needs to be remembered. But you must not overload the learner as they have limited cognitive capacity within their working memory. So what we expect the changes to do to learning in the actual classroom? It will mean students are more engaged in their learning, so richer, more varied representations of the information are made in, the actual brain, in their brain. And for the cognitive theory of multimedia learning, from Maya, using these dual channels, the information will then have more storage opportunities within the, the working memories. 
Therefore, by remembering more, learners have a greater, more consistent retention of the information and retrieval of what they learn. So, teachers should utilise multiple codes to enable the most effective learning in students. And just around to, and ways to do that involve using PowerPoint, pictures, activities, podcasts student teacher interaction, student student interaction so they can help help each other as well, colours, videos, just to get different parts of the brain engaged.